How you guys doing? Um, you know, I'm coming at you guys with a video on how to overcome beliefs, how to overcome limit beliefs specifically. I saw a title of a video, you know, Tony Robbins, a title of a video like that, Tony Robbins speaking, and you know, I just wanted to come from my perspective because that made me, that reminded me of something. Okay, so it reminded me of something that I looked at to help me feel more about life, feel more like I could do these things, I could make these things happen, and these things could happen for the world. Have more hope, not just hope, but just have this unlimited, like this unlimited belief of what's possible. Of course, you know, going across prob probability what's likely to happen, but, you know, having that having that open having that open belief to be able to transcend as far as you want to go but i don't want to get too airy you know i want to let you know what i'm talking about so to stay grounded you know check this out so what pretty much i'm saying right now is i'm gonna start off with like this because this is part of it you know the universe is what the universe is infinite it never ends could you agree yes you know it's what gets my like what gets me to be like what to some other people is you know I'll see uh, read other things online and you know there's people or scientists or question or should I just say people asking questions like is there the edge is there a edge of the universe I mean, you know, who's to say I know, but I don't feel like there's an edge, you know, I feel like, you know, it's, if it, if they claim that it's infinite, how could there be an edge? And I also have an idea or belief that black holes is another dimension. So in that, if you go through a black hole, you know, they say you die, but you know, going through a black hole, I feel like. If for as for whatever reason, you know, somebody goes on the other side, it will be another reality or dimension overlapped on itself or, you know, whatever the case may be. I just feel like it's something else. But anyways, that's another discussion. But what I'm just explaining here is that, you know, going to overcoming beliefs, it pretty much just comes from a mindset of if the universe is infinite, if we come from all that is, why can't we have some sort of infinity within us? I don't think I really like said that specifically consciously in my head, but I always kind of felt like, you know what? Every time when I had that sort of limiting sort of thing or idea about life or about my life, I just look at the universe and be like, this universe is infinite. Why can't I at least, you know, boom, you know? So it's like, I come from all this is, you know, God's, God, even whatever religion you want to look at, whatever the case may be, everything's the same when you look at it, it's just using different words, okay? But check this out. If the world is infinite, if we come from this thing, if we're a part of all this is, all of what this is in the universe and the universe is infinite well, you know shouldn't I be able to at least be able to accomplish this thing or you know but I don't I didn't even like even ask myself should I like I just looked at the fact that this is this infinite and I come from this and then I look at the I just I kind of just I don't know if it's a subconscious thing that's implanted but I just feel like my life is limitless, you know? If the freaking universe is limitless, why can't my life be limitless, you know? Anything's possible in my life, you know? Anything I wanna achieve, anything I wanna do, anything I could possibly perceive. And, you know, quoting Napoleon Hill, whatever the mind can perceive, the mind can achieve. That comes from Napoleon Hill. Shout, shout out to Napoleon Hill, he's a real one. But, you know, that's how I look at my life. You know, 
if the universe is infinite, if there's things we don't even know about the earth and know about the universe, how can I say I'm not going to be able to achieve this all my life? You know, and I kind of just, I kind of give it that contrast, that ratio, that look, you know, to help expand, you know, my thinking. Because why can't my thinking be infinite? Why can't my thinking be at least a little bit further, at least a little bit more? You know, so that's pretty much my take on overcoming limiting beliefs. You know, when you look at a limiting belief of yours, look at how the universe is infinite. I mean, just in of that self is crazy. Because what kind of thing is in infinite? You know, and you know any other things that are infinite, you know, post it down below. I have a question. Does anybody know? You know, if you, you know how you get a mirror and you get another mirror and you look in the mirror and you, and with the other mirror and you see yourself like, like a thousand hundred times. I wonder if that's infinite. I don't know if it, that's infinite, but that'd be interesting. Fractals are infinite, I believe. I'm not really sure, but. It's just, it blows my mind how the universe is infinite, and that always kind of just stayed there. Um, it's kind of funny, because I, re I do remember in middle school, one of my teachers said, um, she was pro she was a science teacher, she was probably just blabbering, and just said something that she thought she is true, or she wants to believe, or thought it was believed, but she told this to us. She said this in front of the class, she's like, um, she's like, um, within the middle of the conversation, she, she mentioned that the universe is, and she said this word, I don't know what the word was, but pretty much it meant that if we fly, or if we go on a spaceship in space and we fly in one direction, all the way up, like if we're flying all the way up, we would, like if we're falling, flying all the way up like this, we would eventually come from the bottom and just go like that, just like, like. Yeah, so if we're flying across like this, and if we keep going, 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 we'll eventually come again like that. But it was proved wrong because it was just go like that forever. But I don't know, it's just it just blows my mind on the infinite part, and then on top of that, there's an infinite amount of things we don't even know about the universe. <laughs> so <coughs> there's an infinite amount of the inf universe is infinite, and on top of that. There's probably going to be an infinite amount of things for us to learn. <laughs> so, you know, it just kind of makes me look like, okay. And I look at this thing, and I'm just like, you know, I have more empowerment. I have more belief in whatever the case may be. I want to keep this video short and juicy. But, and you know, and, like, did you know that we didn't just, we don't know what's, <laughs> we didn't discover all the animals all the bugs, all the bacteria, all the fungi. We like we didn't discover everything on the earth. We didn't discover everything everywhere. You know what I mean? So we're always probably going to be most likely constantly learning. You know, we're not going to, you know, the most evolved of ourselves. I doubt that we're going to know absolutely everything. Like, because honestly, that'd be boring. You know, if we're just sitting here and we know everything. I don't know, like, I, I like to learn, you know, I like to grow. I don't know what that was, that was one of the cats. But that's probably a signal for me in this video. So, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, subscribe, because I'm going to be posting more videos talking about, you know, this and other videos that I posted before and similar things, and yeah. But anyways, thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll talk to you guys soon.